let's go to the idea flow first of all okay so what we are going to do here sign up for free and let's open dialog flow now we are the dialog flow so let me show you how you can start very things these are docs you can read it out when you want okay so uh, yeah it's india yes except now let's create an agent first of all okay now let's say i have a shop of cake shop okay i own a cake shop and its name is cupcake cupcake shop let's take an example it's an example okay so being in cake shop let's say i have a customer i have a customer okay and he came to me okay when he came to me he asked for a cake okay or uh, anything like it be cake or ice cream or a chocolate or cup or cupcakes doesn't matter whatever it is so let's uh, give this name cupcakes cupcake bot okay sorry bot english okay with project okay my guy went no nothing business it's working yeah uh, let's see this fall we don't want any fallback intent uh, we'll <coughs> we'll let you know what is fallback intent in Mutla. what are the things which we which have which we are seeing here okay now let's say uh, when you're creating a chatbot okay you need to have a small talk with it means uh, when you say hi it should respond hello when you say good morning it should re reply with greetings so or something like that so uh, that's a good thing with Google or uh, I mean Dialogflow it provides a small talk with to us you can just go to small talk and you can just start the thing it's as enable and tell you can fill this out who are you how old are you anything whatever you want uh, to make your chatbot good courtesy emotions everything so let's say i will just add for example to you who are you so i will say hey there i am cupcake shop bot bot okay there to help you with your orders okay that's a thing and i will save it out now is it done yep done working now let's go to integrations okay we'll explain you line by line okay now uh, i need to see that uh, how much chatbot is working so i will have a web demo itself and i will take this to here okay this is cupcake chatbot okay let's say uh, as uh, as you have seen that i have integrated this small talk uh, means i can talk to my chatbot for a small talk let's say hi hello and how are you like this things okay so let's say hello it responds good day let's say i ask who are you it responds hey there i'm a cupcake shop chatbot but they do help you with your orders okay that's great it says agreed means this are the small talks now i want my chatbot to integrate and to take my orders and to save it okay so let's go to intents first of all uh, okay now this is what intent intents means what you can add your training phrases you can add your tags whatever tags you have in a simple language i'm explaining you uh tags let's say what type of cake i want what size of cake i want how much will be the price what timings i will be preparing the cake or what timings the customer needs the cake as well as uh it should be deliverable to home or it should be you have the customer should take it to shop whatever you want to add i will be just adding two or three sentences as an example for you guys let's go to entities first of all now entities are what means they are the thing which will be as called as a tags to you okay let's say i will create an entity uh the first entity for me will be the type of item let's say the type of item i prefer means might be it will be a cake it will be a ice cream or let's say it will be a chocolate or it will be something as let's say cupcakes also that's famous okay and uh, preferable things it will be something like okay let's see okay 
now let's add some cakes that is let's say pineapple cake this is just for training purposes pineapple cake oh, sorry i just written cakes pineapple cake uh, black forest black forest cake you can add two two or more three cakes that's it uh vanilla cake also i think so no, vanilla cake. Uh, let's say Okay. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Now let's say ice cream, uh, mango, ice cream. Sorry for this spelling mistake, guys. As um, ice cream, vanilla, ice cream. Okay, two of so many chocolates. Uh, chocolates. Uh, let's say. What kind of chocolate? Yeah, eclairs. Eclairs. Okay. Chocolate. And what else? Uh, you can add you whatever you want. Uh, let's say uh, we can have cup cupcake. Let's search for the cupcake names type of cupcakes. You can got well well with well red well with cupcake. Let's add this out here. Two or three. Oreo cupcake just for presents. Then we need to add chocolate cupcake. Whatever cupcakes we want. Now let's add. Let's save this up. Okay. Now the uh, the further things. Let's say we will create an intent. Okay. Now let's say the create uh, intent will be my customer. Okay. It will be my customer. Customer, let's say cupcake shop, whatever it may be. Context, I uh, will be explaining in a moment. Events now, what is events? First of all, event means what? Let's say I will be adding this event as welcome for my dialogue flow. You can add uh, if you're adding this uh, project with your Google Assistant, means integrating to Google Assistant, you can add when you open your mobile uh, or something smart, whatever smart smartphone you have, and you press the uh, open Google Assistant and you say, and you just say. That I want some cake, it will be automatically uh, take you to the application itself, or else you need your permission, whatever you want. Okay, uh, well, I'm using for the web demo itself, so I'm using this. Welcome, uh, next training faces. Let's add some training faces. Firstly, add this is the response, this is the action and parameters. What actions I will be taking, what parameters I'm using, I will be explaining all, all this. So, this is a basic explanation. Let's say uh, I am looking. For a cake. Okay, now the cake has been automatically triggered. Is a type of item. Okay, I am looking for a uh, strawberry. S T R A W strawberry cake. Okay, yeah. Now you need to train these things that the cake can be strawberry flavor also. Okay, now you can have your entities as different. Let's say I have a type of item. Uh, in entities you can have cake entities you can have uh, sorry uh, you can have uh, cupcakes entities I have just made the one uh, entities as type of item that's it let's say I am looking I'm looking sorry for a chocolate cupcake as it is been teach to him chocolate is in cupcake and it's an item okay now uh, okay, let me explain you. Whenever a custom, whenever a customer comes to your shop, okay, he says, let's say uh, he's in idiotic mind. I think so. Or it's just an example. Uh, I will say, I he says, I need, I need something. I need something in my budget, or let's say special whatever it says okay so we'll copy this out let's say what if the customer says these things okay now at this time what should the chatbot say okay because uh, I don't find anything that is to be connect now that is to be have a connection with my entities so at that time the chatbot will prompt from the question that hello what 
are you looking for in cupcake shop okay yeah what are you looking for you can say any type of question doesn't matter okay so this is what required means if the sentences if the that sorry if the phrases okay if the phrases does if the phrases is not having any uh, type of item mentioned in the phrase then the chatbot will automatically ask that what type of item are you looking for in the cupcake shop uh, let's say some of the customers uh, come to the shop and ask for many things so it might be as list as list means what you can add many things let's say i need a cupcake i need a cake i need a drink uh, cold drinks or whatever he may say okay so let's save this out let's train these things intent saved done okay okay now automatically the agent training will be started and yes completed now let's go to this and refresh out let's test this out okay let's say hello to this it says good day uh, let's say i am looking for a budget i'm looking for something delicious okay it automatically prompts that hello what are you looking for in cupcake shop okay so let's say i'm looking for a cake okay now it has an empty response because i haven't provided it that okay if you're looking for a cake you can add what flavor but i will add just what size let's say okay now the customer says i need a cake okay i need a cake now the shopkeeper asks what kind of or what size of cake you want okay so my main motive is to get the size of the cake so when you have something you can go to entities and you can add that create entities and i will say size now the size may be uh, let's say okay i add size and it will be big sorry large small medium or as 1 kg half kg okay now uh, let's say uh, sorry 2 kg or as 5 kg done let's save this out go to cup, sorry go to intense now i will train the my uh, sorry now i will train my bot that yes uh, i am sorry i am looking for a cake of around half kg it automatically detects that yes the size is half kg okay or else i am looking for a cake looking for a cake of around i'm looking for a large cake okay looking for a large cake done now the large hasn't been identified let's say the type of item size uh, what i have given size yes, this is the size okay yep uh, next say i need a 2 kg cake now it has auto automatically displays the type of item system dot number we don't want to identify the system dot number we want to identify it as size okay now uh, we will just change this out just go here and type this is size and just save this out saving means it is the dialog coach has been training these phrases understanding that 2 kg 5 kg 4 kg whatever it may be it will be as a entity okay now let's see again uh, i am looking for a small cake now the small will automatically as size okay it comes under the size now let's say the customer comes in a shop and he provides the data of the cake that i want chocolate cake vanilla cake whatever cake he wants now the cus sorry the shopkeeper must ask must prompt okay must prompt that what kind of size you want that is in required it could not be in list okay so define from that what size for the what size are you looking for okay 
just a simple phrase nothing uh, means extraordinary okay now let's save this out and let's test this yeah, then saved done now let's refresh this out agent training started and uh, let's save it for completed itself oh, it will be completed no problem now let's say hello same as usual now i am looking for something something in my budget okay now it prompts because the shopkeeper is not understanding what you are looking for so then he asks hello what are you looking for in the cupcake shop so i as a customer i say i am looking for a vanilla cake okay now what size are you looking for directly the shopkeeper prompts me what is the what size are you looking for i replies i am i need i need a i need a small size of cake okay now the the response is empty now let's say we will add one more uh, as if uh, let's say the timing okay we need timing also that uh, when you need this cake okay we, we will work on this three entities itself and uh, now you're getting the point what are the entities itself let's say entities will go here okay we don't want to add entities because it is pre-built in the dialog flow that uh, because timings are what they are date and time okay so let's just train this out key yeah we'll be going here and we'll be just training i need the empty cake empty cake by today today noon okay now let's see today noon i will say it in time okay now let's make this as important because we need to know what time the customer wants to get okay let's say i can enter the prompt uh what at what time sorry at what time you need the okay done close and let's save this out okay now you have got the idea what i'm doing and what you are getting at okay let's refresh this out and let's say now when you write these whole three sentences in one phrase okay i mean when you write this whole three uh what should i say entities in one single phrase uh, then it directly will go to the main response let's say uh, okay i'm looking for a cake okay the response come as what size are you looking for because it is been training that's why it is taking time uh, we have started really earlier okay what are you looking for i am looking i small size let's say directly i will write small size okay what time do you need the cake by let's say tomorrow afternoon something different done empty response means after this what kind of response we will be having from chatbot that hasn't been done okay let's do this now let's say uh, everything is done everything has been taken order has been taken let's say uh, what kind of cake i will be required what timings and what size i will be required now the shopkeeper says or might be chatbot or might be app says uh, or the website says uh, let's say seriously do you want to order this cake okay so we need to have something that should be yes or no okay so let's save this out and we will be going to intent now we need a follow up intent means to follow this things to follow means let's say if the customer says yes i want to order this thing. let's say a follow up intent and let's say yes if the customer says yes i need this thing okay so on saying yes we will reply uh where it is yeah text response that's that's great your order has been taken okay this is for yes means when you say yes uh, i can for my order then it will be present and when you say no just follow up here and say no and you will get uh, no intent okay and what did the chatbot should say when you say no to no to game or oh, chatbot okay 
so when you say no to her the response should be okay no problem no problem let me know the fresh order okay that's the thing now we have done these things yes no okay now let's say uh, when you're chatting to chatbot if you say something irrelevant that is not related to the uh, chatbot so that should be a fallback intent means that should be a fallback that, that the chatbot should, should say uh, you are uh, providing something irrelevant to the topic okay uh, means that is as a fallback only uh, let's say go to fallback yeah let's go to fallback and will tell you what is fallback and how do you understand this fallback okay refresh 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 yes fallback now let's say when you say something irrelevant to the chatbot uh, it says i'm not getting your point save this out done Working, 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 working. Okay, it's working. Saved and go back to intents. Then, okay, now you have fallback. No, yes. And what if, if you want to cancel your order? You can have it to cancel. And we can say okay we have cancelled click uh, click here and we will give a response we know to cancel uh, please send please send a mail to cupcakes dot cakes at the rate gmail dot com with order id right see so almost i have done with the customer cake when it says cancel or says yes or says no or says or says anything that is relevant to the chatbot okay now let's go to the chatbot now let's say uh, we need to tell the customer that your order has been taken uh, when everything satisfies means the type of item is satisfied and the data has been taken up size has been taken up data time has been taken up we will provide a response uh, we have got your got your order of now what order you have got that you can know type of item dot original uh, okay by timings yes i need to Timing dot original. Okay. Would you like? What do you? Okay. We have got your order or something, something, something by something, something, something. Okay. So let's. I will ask. Do you confirm? Do you confirm your order? Okay done let's save this out and let's test and then saved agent running started complete also okay now let's refresh this and have a test let's say hello i'm looking for uh, now let's say uh, i haven't put any of the entities that ask me what kind of cake i'm looking for i mean what flavor i'm looking for okay so don't get hesitated you can add in the entities itself i'm looking for a cake it asks me what size are you looking for i am okay let's directly add uh, 2 kg itself 2 kg okay at what time do you need the cake uh, i need it today after no okay. we have got your order of cake by today afternoon do you want to confirm your order i say yes okay that's where the order has been taken here we have ended let's say 
again we will have a uh, okay let's say we can directly say here cancel also so it will be sending out send, sending and phrase that please send an email okay let's say okay i'm looking for a cake at this point and yeah what size let's say one kg what time again okay. let's say today no itself you can tell the time also no problem with this okay uh, i said yes and let's say cancel it cancel my order what it says please send an mail to cupcake with order id so this is a short uh, video for you guys to understand the dialog flow basics so that how can you make these things uh, will if you need more about these things that how i will be integrating with you have many kind of integrations we can integrate with the telephone aviva signal fire whatever you want you can integrate with the skype also telegram cake line everything if you want uh, these are the videos for let's say we have a fulfill one so you can control the dialog flow also with your apis and webhooks as well as the inline in editor that is uh, power uh, sorry we can use firestore also here also okay if you want more video on this uh, comment down below so that i can add more videos according to this and i will let you know how you can integrate this dialog flow with your application with your website with your any of your projects if you want okay so this is a small video that you can understand how the dialog flow works with a simple and smart techniques okay thank you guys